Hello everybody, welcome to the November channel update for me, CTOP. I think it's been about a month since the last one, yeah. I've been doing them near like the end of the month, so that kind of works. And I think I'm always wearing this shirt. I, I'm not doing it on purpose. I don't know why I'm always wearing this shirt, it just kind of happens that way. I hope McCormick's here. Gotta give the people what they want. Okay. My new buddy. So state of the channel, uh, only current series we have going on right now are, what, are, um, Anno 2205 is still going on, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing that series, it depends on uh, how interested I still am when I play it, <laughs> I kind of do it like, by ear. Um, and then we're also doing Star Wars Battlefront, I've recorded a couple episodes of that, and we're going to put in those up this week, probably not going to do a super long series, what is wrong with your pot? He cuts up his paws because he dives into the rocks when we play fetch. All right, you get down. So Star Wars Battlefront Anno 2205 are the current running series right now. Kingdom, we finish up on. Finally beat that game. If you guys didn't watch Kingdom episode 19, we did finally beat that game. I need a haircut. I'm just looking at myself right now. Jeez. Okay, so there we go there. Uh, Fallout 4 streams, we'll still randomly do one, maybe do a couple or more of those. Again, really crap views. Everything's getting really crap views. This is the single worst month for views I've had since May. So the month after, or probably even April, um, when I first started playing Elite Dangerous, which really gave a good boost to the channel, because <laughs> the, the channel was up for a year before that. But yeah, this is the worst month. It, it makes sense. All the big AAA games are coming out right now, and I'm technically not playing them. Um, so a lot of people are watching those or playing those. So people, less people are, fewer people are watching uh, Let's Plays. Also, um, uh, fewer indie games are being released because they don't want to compete with the uh, larger markets right now. So it's understandable. It's a slow month. People are busy with school. So I'm hoping we'll hit December hard. And the big announcement is that I am returning to Elite Dangerous for the Horizons update. Today, actually yesterday or today, the uh, beta for Horizons uh, was supposed to come out. That's the, if you guys don't know what Horizons is, it is the uh, very large Elite Dangerous paid update. It's basically DLC, but it includes planetary landing, um, these like rover vehicles, a whole bunch of new stuff. So I'm going to be playing that. Gonna be doing probably a relatively long series on that because um, I haven't even touched this joystick in a long time. It's just sitting there, but I'm excited to get back into Elite Dangerous, and it should be good for the channel and good for all you guys because I'm sure a uh, crap ton of you have come from Elite Dangerous, seeing as how the first video is about a third of my total views on the channel because it, it's sitting around like 400 and something thousand views right now. But yeah, so we're bringing that back. I believe they delayed the beta of Horizons update to the 30th, so that's going to be uh, next Monday. Why can't it have been this weekend? I'm free this weekend, damn. Yeah, because th that's going to be approaching the last two weeks of school for me, so that's going to be fun. My, f I shouldn't be my finals won't be too bad. Um, yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned this in previous updates, but... Up until like a month ago, I thought I was graduating this December, but it turns out I am not, unfortunately. I have to do a part-time semester, because despite the fact that my degree is complete, my major and minor are both complete, I am missing upper division units, which even confused my uh, academic advisor. She had to send my paperwork to her boss, because even she was confused, so it was a very annoying and difficult process. And there's a dog attacking me. Go away. Go and get... <laughs> He's down here licking my hands. So it was a very... Frustrating experience, having to find that out. So, next semester, I'm only going to be taking classes two days a week. Right now, I'm taking four cl or day I'm taking classes four days a week. And so, it'll be a lot less time. Or it'll be a lot, I'll have a lot more free time for YouTube. Uh, but I probably will be working more, because I like to try and save up money for next fall. We'll see how it goes. But it should be relatively easy semester, and then I can just quickly graduate and get on with my life. Uh, let's see. I should, I never talk about personal stuff in these. I really should do more. Uh, I still got Cormac. Cormac's doing good. Um, his, his birthday's coming up. Well, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> when I got him in August of 2014, he was about six months old. So they, I put his birthday sometime in February. I haven't actually picked a birthday for him. I could just make it February 1st, or I could make it my brother's birthday <laughs> or Valentine's Day. Do you want to be born on Valentine's Day, little pup? But yeah, he'll be two years old in February. 
I'll have to get him a little birthday present. Maybe some new toys or some cookies. Oh, I can't see that one. Now I gotta give him a cookie. Hold on. And see if he catches it. Ready? <laughs> you missed it. Give it back. No. Okay. Fine. Be that way. That room's really messy. I just realized that. Well, it's not too bad. All right. Uh, so yes, our corner's gonna be two years old. I'm gonna be graduating. Still, um, currently booking. If you guys don't know, I'm a wedding photographer. Well, that's what I'd like to be. So I just booked um, one more for the winter and one more for the spring this week. So that's pretty neat. Excited about that. Got a couple of uh, family portraits coming up and whatnot too. Yeah, I never share things. I should. I'm not, I should show you guys my photography sometime. I don't know. It'll be fun. Well, yeah, that's what I got coming up. Uh, dog's birthday, very important. Graduation, personal stuff, etc. Uh, upcoming games for the channel. I'm still hoping this year. There are a couple games coming out. Well, maybe. There are Steam Greenlight games from small developers, so it's not 100% known if they are going to be coming out this year. Um, the games like Forts, which is kind of a uh, multiplayer... Um, Fort building combat, you basically have these large towers on each side of the screen and you build things and shoot at each other, it looks really fun. You could probably do some cool multiplayer stuff with that. As well as uh, scrap mechanics coming out. Um, if I remember, I'll put all these in the description because this is a really cool looking game. Why is my mic so high? Damn. Yeah, scrap mechanic coming out. And there's one more. Oh, Life in Bunker, which is kind of like a vault simulator. It's kind of like top down isometric view, but it looks interesting too. Uh, I heard from them on, I think, November 6th, and they said it's a couple weeks away, so hopefully that's coming up soon. See, that's the problem, we can't really, a lot of these indie games, they'll announce the launch date within a week, so you can't really plan for it, unfortunately, or sometimes they'll just release it randomly. It's tough. But hopefully we'll have a couple more fun indie games coming out. Uh, there are some games I'm looking at. I might get into RimWorld. I, got the, I was able to get that recently, and... I don't know, I've been talking to Blitz about it, because I'm sure if you've played RimWorld, you know who he is. He's the king of that game. And he says now would be a good time to get into it, and I've always wanted to. Um, from what I understand, the developer is taking like a six-month break, and then they're releasing the game on Steam next spring. So that would be good. But I don't know. Yeah, so as the channel stands, we just have Anno and Battlefront going. Maybe bring in RimWorld. Um, maybe some other indie games that pop up. Hopefully before the end of the year. But yeah. As you guys know, I'm real fickle with my game choice because I get, besides uh, things like Anno and Battlefront and Fallout, I try and pick games that, um, they're small enough that I can actually rank in search results so I can help the channel show, help the channel show, the channel grow, and, but big enough so people actively search for them. It's, it's a tough middle ground to find, but hopefully we have a couple coming up, uh, this winter from Green, Greenlight, from those small indie developers, because those are the games I have the most fun with. Um, but I think that's it for this channel update, guys. Can you think of anything else? No? Come here. Come here. No, he can't think. He's too stupid. He's too stupid. He can't think. <laughs> we'll get the brush. He doesn't like it. He's his little puppy brush. We well, don't like that brush. He kind of likes it, though, because it feels good. Right, I shouldn't make that a toy. I don't want him to chew on it. But yeah, that's it for the November channel update, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the this comments below, I guess. Oh, he brought me Bert's flipper. <laughs> he tore these off this toy. <laughs> Alright, bye.